Hey guys, what's going on today? Here it is, uh, Fat Man. Today I am jacked up on fucking caffeine. I haven't slept in three days. Cold War is out, and it's great, and it's awesome, and it's fun, and I'm training, and like I'm just thinking about it. Like, God, Zombies is awesome this year, and I'm having a ton of fun. But you know, with Zombies come trains and high rounds and whatnot. So I'm going to be giving you guys the top five training spots in D Machine A or Die Machine or Black Ops Cold War Zombies launch map. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So coming to number five, we got the spawn room. Now the spawn room is actually beautiful. This is one of the best spawn rooms we've had in years. Like, this is no joke, dude. This spawn room, do not fuck around. And I also want to let you guys know that this is in no specific order. All these training spots are equally as fun. Well, some of them are easier than others, but they're all the same amount of persistent fun. But the spawn room is absolutely insane. It's open. It's got a box location. There's a place you could buy ammo. Also, you could buy grenades. You could buy score streaks here. There is a lot of reasons this is a very good training spot. You got everything you need in this one spawn room. Now, the next place on the list is actually the OG Nocturne Toten building. Now, the whole bottom floor isn't a bad training spot. Now, honestly, it feels a lot more condensed and it's not as open as it once was, but you know, it's a fun throwback to train here. It is very difficult, but it is a fun training spot. Now, coming to number three, we have the yard or where Juggernog is. Now, this is one of the best training spots we've ever had in Zombies. It adds a crazy dynamic because you could actually run up the train wing. I meant plane wing, but uh, you could run up there. You could jump off. You could do a lot of different maneuvers. You could run all the way up to where the box is. You could even run all the way down to Quick Revive. I consider this a whole entire training spot. Down by Quick Revive and the whole entire yard in Juggernog. That is one great, insane, big training spot. That's one thing that this map did really, really, really good, and that's training spots for high rounders, you know? Because usually you have a map where there's like one or two training spots that you can do. But in this, you can't get bored. Because let's say you do five high round attempts and get to around 100. You can do it in five different spots so it doesn't feel as repetitive. And it almost feels like you're playing a new map. I think what they did this year is absolutely genius. Now, come to number two. We have Inside the Bunker Tunnel. Now, this is kind of weird. This one's very, very difficult, but I really like this one. I think this one's a lot of fun because of how difficult it is. It's very condensed. It kind of reminds me of Garad Krovi, you know, when you train by the shield and um, where the, the thing is for the Dragon Command. I think this, this this very much reminds me of that, but this is an awesome training spot. It's super fun. It's super difficult. I actually think I almost went down in this gameplay, but as you can see in this game, you have like stamina up and you can maneuver around the zombies very, very well. This is a very good zombies game for movement and training speed and whatnot. Like you can maneuver in and out of the zombies. You can avoid it. <coughs> It's beautiful, man. Ah, it, oh, dude. This game, the training spots, everything about it, so, so fun. Now, coming in at number one, you have Pack-A-Punch or the Pro, pro, pros, pro something? I don't fucking know. Um, down here, it don't fuck around, dude. This shit fucks, bro. You got, like, the, the beams that you can maneuver around, and it also goes in a full circle. You could literally just run full circles around here if you want to. You can maneuver around the beams. You have ammo. You could always pack a punch. You're also right next to the armor station where you buy armor, which is very, very nice. You could also upgrade your guns through the tier upgrader, too, because the more you progress, the more you're going to upgrade your guns. You really can't fully, fully upgrade your gun. Like I'm saying, like, three pack-a-punches, epic tier. You can't really do that till like, around 40, maybe 30. I don't know, man. It is a little difficult, but um, those are the top five training spots in D Machine A. I know this is a quick video, but I love you guys. I'm having so much, so much fun this year. I'm going to be streaming a lot. I'm going to be making videos like this. Um, some new series are starting up. I'll continue Cold War on popular opinions. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like, drop, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.